All right, in part two of our tutorials series, we're gonna start customizing uh, the elements or entities that are in our game. So uh, our player is not a box, so I'm gonna just go ahead and right click on the box in the hierarchy, and I'm going to delete it. Um, the plane we're gonna keep, but I want it to be a little bit bigger. So on the right side, uh, I'm gonna change the X scale to be 20 and the Z scale to be 20 as well. So we get a much bigger area. Uh, this grid here won't actually show up when we run our game, but it gives you an idea of kind of what general scale is. All right, so when, to add our player in, what we're gonna do is click on the plus here. Um, actually, ugh, rats, undo. I'm gonna click on root first, because that's where I wanna add the player to. So I click on add entity, entity. And the entity that I want is going to be a primitive called a, uh, a sphere. So here's my player. I can zoom in a little bit with uh, a gesture on my, my computer. Uh, this is the on my Mac. It's the two finger in and out. Uh, you could do a pinch uh, depending on what device you're on. Uh, but you can see the sphere is sort of like halfway into the ground. Uh, that's because its position is from the center of the object. Uh, and it has, uh, so if I click the sphere, you can see it centers at zero, zero, zero. And it's got a scale of one by one by one. So that's its diameter in each of the different directions. So if I change the Y position to be 0.5, that'll move it up a radius. Uh, so that way it's outside of the plane now. Okay. So that looks good. Um, I, I am a little uh, bothered that everything is the same color. So let's talk about uh, changing the color of the ground, uh, which will also apply to the sphere too, if you want to apply a color. So I'm going to make in the assets area a new folder. I'm going to call that um, materials. So when you select a folder, you can change its name. And in the materials folder, I'm gonna click plus again and make a new material. And I'm gonna call this my ground material. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and rename some of these items on the left side. So like the plane, I want that to be called my ground. And the sphere, I want that to be my player. So back on the ground, uh, you'll notice that it doesn't have a material. Um, so I want to select this to be its material. So let me click on empty and then I'm going to select the ground material. Now that's just white. So if I want to change it, what I'm going to do is select the material and I'm going to go down to the, the diffuse option and I'm going to change its color and I'm going to pick a shade of blue. And you can see that as I move this around, it's changing the color of the ground. So you can repeat that process for the sphere if you want it to be a different color. Um, another thing that we're gonna wanna add are some walls. Um, and there's gonna be four of them. So I'm gonna click on the root again. And to make a wall, I'm gonna make a, a primitive called a box. And it's okay that it's, it's end of the ground. It doesn't really matter that much because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this box all the way to the other uh, side of the uh, the plane. So because it's 20 by 20, I'm going to guess that if I make the X 10, and zoom out just a little bit, yep, you can see it went right to the edge right there. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm also going to change the Y scale, the vertical scale, to be 2, because I don't want the ball to be able to somehow get over the edge. And then I'm going to change the Z scale to be See if 10 is big enough? No, it's got to be 20. So we change the 10 to 20. And you get this big block that should be boxing in the circle or the sphere. Now I'm going to go through and uh, I'm going to duplicate this box. And, and actually, I'm going to call this right wall too before I forget. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it. And then I want to move it to the other side. So I'm going to change the X to be a negative 10. And now it's on the other side. So that's my left wall. 
I'm going to duplicate it again, and I'm going to have to make a few more changes for this one. Uh, so the x is going to be uh, 0, so back in the middle. But I'm going to change the z this time to be 10. And I'm going to make the z scale be 1 and the x scale be 20. And that'll give me the south wall. Now, you'll notice that doesn't quite fill in the <laughs> uh, corner here, so you can play around with the numbers until you're happy. But I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate the south wall, and we will call this the north wall. And to get it in the right spot, I'll make the z position be negative 10. All right, and there you go. We've got our sphere uh, enclosed in the game area. So if I hit play right now, just to see what it looks like, um, here it is. Here's the sphere. It's in the area and it can't move, which is a problem, which we'll look at in the next video. How can we get the sphere to move and how can we get it so that it can't leave the uh, play area?